G'day, mate, and welcome back to Capture the Industry with me, JD. Today, today's episode, um, we need to do a couple of upgrades and a couple of other things I've been pushing off, putting off till later. I've been meaning to get to and haven't quite got there yet, so, um, we're going to be doing a couple of those upgrades. At the same time, as always, I need to thank you guys. I need to thank you guys for such strong support for last episode, the year 1000 base tour. Uh, thank you guys for clicking like on that video clicking like on this video, leaving the wonderful comments. Uh, at the same time, thank you for all the new subscribers, all the new subscribers from last episode, very, very much appreciated. And at the same time, I also need to remind you, you know, maybe, maybe, maybe if you watched last episode and you're back for this episode, maybe click subscribe for this one. Just, just throwing it out there, throwing it out there. Maybe a good idea, maybe, maybe a great idea. At the same time, as always, I need to thank the wonderful YouTube members and the wonderful Patreon, uh, Patreon, Patreon supporters, Patreon supporters, uh, for continuing to keep this channel ad-free. Something we're trying out for 2022 is, well, um, rather than me filling the video full of mid-roll ads, ask you guys consider supporting the channel. Consider becoming a YouTube member or a Patreon member. But as I said, you know, we like button we've already spoken about, subscribe button, we've already spoken about that one. Right beside that is the join button. You can become a YouTube member for as little as one dollar. For one dollar a month, you could go towards supporting the channel. Um and honestly, one dollar per month is way more way more than what I get from you watching every single video I output for a month and last month and the month before with as many ads put in as I possibly could. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The ads pay that little. Anyway, with that out of the way, uh Next thing we need to do is we need to thank um, today's YouTube member. Today's YouTube member. Uh, and we are going to be thanking I'm Starkinator. I'm Starkinator uh, for becoming a YouTube member. Thank you so much for choosing to support the channel. Good luck driving this truck. Uh, there's there's more things that need to be dumped in the sea. Uh, there's more things that need to be moved around because um, we're still extremely busy. Speaking of extremely busy, there's a couple of things I want to talk about. Uh, first off, between episodes. Between episodes, I generally cover what's happened. The only thing that happened between our uh, last episode, me talking for 45 minutes flat out, non-stop, and right now is um, I, I, I added two more rubber machines because it was boring and it needed to be done and I missed that pipe and that's about it. We did just complete our very last truck. Uh, we are up to, where are we? 135 vehicles. I have 25 big diggers, 60 dump trucks, uh, 49 little trucks, uh, one tiny digger, which I hang around for little jobs, little jobs, because they're much faster to move around the map. At this point, I'd like to have more big diggers, uh, but I don't... I don't think I can support them without optimizing our, our dumping zones an awful lot. So for the moment, we're going to get, uh, let's go with three, three more dump trucks, um, just to hopefully get down from extremely busy. Although it can say I have idle trucks, which then implies I don't have extremely busy. Oh, hang on. They're assigned to buildings. Maybe that doesn't count. Uh, yes, yes. Uh, next thing we need to talk about is, uh, maintenance three. Maintenance three. I don't have enough maintenance three because... Uh, somewhere in me upgrading and rearranging pipes, well, rearranging this, this pipe got reversed in direction, which means this has not been running for ages, uh, which means we're just going to keep doing this. Um, I thought I was okay with microchips. I'm really, really not. Uh, therefore, I have done some automation here. We're now actually bringing in electronics and bringing in microchips. I have three assemblers, hopefully burning through things as fast as I can. On top of that, uh... We have a decent amount of electronics three, which we're making a decent amount of service. Yes, yes. Uh, so we're going to be running that a little bit harder. I also need to, I think I have the teraflops available. Unpause you and probably you. Uh, yes. Let's set the priority on these to much lower because I should have done that a long time ago and I didn't. Uh, yes, we, we, we need more construction part four, four. Uh, I have big projects I'd like to do. And then we're going to need like a thousand plus construction parts to do them. And I just, well, I, I have, I have 1500 currently, but I'd like more. Uh, at the same time, I do want to mention research. Uh, I have the ability and we have the production now to turn on a, the extra lab. If I have 12 teraflops available, I could probably make 12 teraflops available, but um, uh, I don't need to research faster because we're actually chewing through research faster than I can actually get the buildings built. So uh, we're going to be leaving that for right now. Uh, I probably need to turn... No, you have import on. Okay. Uh, so we're going to leave that for now. We'll come back to that in the future. Maybe um, maybe I'll turn it on in the future after we catch up on our research a little bit. Oh, our production a little bit. Uh, but today, today, I need to do two things. One, uh, iron. We have been running this smelter flat out with Uni Boost because... Oh, okay, fine. So you stop pestering me. 
Pause. Sheesh. All right. Where were we? These guys. I've been running these guys with a uni boost for quite some time. Uh, and that's because we just don't produce nearly enough iron. Uh, I produce 96 iron per minute and we use 96 iron per minute. I really need to change that up. The best way for me to change that up is, well, um, 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 make another iron smelter. Which I don't have space to do and I don't really want to convert one of my steels because I keep having to add more steels on in iron. So what we want to do today is I want to make a smart smelter that's going to do either iron or steel. Yeah, that's going to be one of our plans. Uh, at the same time, whilst we un boost you guys and probably uni boost you guys really quickly just so we chew through that iron. Can I pause the loopback belt so we actually have some construction part one because that sort of seems important uh yeah we got 460 all right we'll have a minute to chew through those uh, a couple of other things i want to do whilst we wait for the box to be empty because i need to move the box um i have been talking about it for quite some time adding in yet another copper smelter uh, that's going to be the first thing i'm, I'm going to do um it's it's literally a copy and paste it's not too complicated uh it's all got all its belts routed in all its pipes routed in except for i probably need to upgrade the exhaust pipe Possibly. Probably. Uh, yup. Uh, and as for exhaust, we're bringing all the exhaust over here and we're doing um, exhaust processing. Now, I do have a problem. Uh, one is lack of room. That's probably the biggest problem. Uh, where we have two of these guys running... Well, I'm bringing all the exhaust to one balancer. We're prioritizing out to this pipe, which is running to both of these guys, because these guys use the desal method to actually generate water at the same time. Uh, the excess exhaust comes into this balancer, which is prioritized into this one, which runs through a cooling tower, which is a water loss. Um, obviously, the more water I have over here, the better, because the excess water we have here, we're turning acid to run either glass or run copper. So I, I need more water. Uh, any excess, excess exhaust, we're coming out, we're pumping out into this large smokestack. There is very, very much a chance with me adding more smelters that um, I, don't, I don't have enough exhaust processing. Uh, the other thing I've been meaning to do for quite some time, and it's written... Uh, there we go. Well, it's written right there. Uh, I don't have enough glass. Can I prioritize? Yeah, I need to prioritize out to that one. I don't have enough glass. Um, and for a very, very long time, the game has been complaining about my recycled glass boxes being full we are making about 100 here and in theory we are making about 100 here when this is running so oh and by the way uh, that is all the gold scrap i've managed to scrounge up since we first turned on gold smelting and processing gold we ain't using a lot of it uh so what i want to do is i want to take my goal uh, my gold my uh crushed glass broken glass broken glass broken glass belt and i want to run it to a couple of dedicated smelters that are going to run nothing but the broken glass recipe uh main reason i'm doing this height two i'm pretty sure i can run i can run straight through there at height two come down to ground level and run that there main reason i want to do this is it requires a whole lot less infrastructure to just do the broken glass recipe. Can I plug you in there and you in there? And then we'll grab oh, grab our coal belt and plug you back in there and you back in there. Uh, that should be that done. We'll just build that real quick. And I'm actually going to go as far as pausing the broken glass belt. Because now we have a dedicated smelter for it. Now, a couple of things I do want to mention with this particular uh thing more pipe upgrades yep uh a couple of things i do want to mention yeah off 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 please off off don't have trucks import things bad things happen all right this particular one is just gonna be running the gla uh, broken glass recipe because i don't need to have a lo lot of infrastructure to make the glass mix the glass mix requires the mixes which are going to require sand and limestone and salt and acid and all sorts of things it's a whole bunch of infrastructure that i just don't want to have pause no okay uh over here I, I i just don't want the hassle for right now uh one thing i do need to do is i do need to check these belts yep i thought we'd have this i thought we'd have some belts that weren't upgraded a two segment a two segment and there's another segment there uh of coal running too slow uh let's upgrade you for good measure 
And I think that's everything. Uh, one thing I didn't do is, obviously, I'm gonna, if I'm going to have more copper smelting, I'm going to need more crushes. Uh, so we'll get that done as well. We'll get that done as well. Oh, oh, that was very important. Uh, last episode. Last episode, we upgraded the uh, Mr. Shippy Shippy to maximum combat score. He has a combat score of 900. We're going to go to the hideout. All the pirates. Uh, all the pirates. All the pirates. We're going to grab all the loot we possibly can. All right. So that should bring over broken glass. We should have these two outputting broken glass. We do need to get our broken glass to go somewhere. And... Oh, uh, what? Oh, well, our, our, our now real glass... Please connect. Thank you. All right. Uh, our glass. Our glass. I want to... Whoop. Our glass. I want to bring up and over and put it into the glass box, which means uh, my standard rule of thumb is if you need to run across the map, just run things at height three. Because uh, I generally don't run things at height three, which means generally height three is magically clear of everything. And I can just build things without an issue. Uh, we're going to uni that that. Uh, it looks like we won that bit of combat. I want to actually watch that one. Uh, location explored. Yep, we definitely won. And we found some loot. Excellent. Go visit the next one. Alright, so that should get us processing a bunch of glass. More glass. Which hopefully means that this is no longer constantly empty because um, we are using an awful lot of glass. Between the extra research plus also the household goods, uh, plus also vehicle parts too that we're trading for oil, it all adds up. It all definitely adds up. I can take uni boost off those guys. All right. Uh, boop, 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 boop. That's that done. That's that done. That's that, that done. I have run some belts like this one. It just moves sand from the mine to the smelting. Oh, wow. We're short on teraflops. All right. Let's find some more teraflops. Uh, we're short four. One, two, three, four. Yep. That's okay. Uh, and we should be good to go. Uh, can I look at that really quickly? Price is going back down. We'll do that again. Oh, oh, oh. In battle. That's what I want to see. Go! Shoot him! Shoot him! Shoot him! Well, one's dead. So, our ship damage done. Enemy damage done. Is that how much damage they did to us? None of these numbers make any sense. 2,100. You lost 2,000 plus another 1,200. So that's like 3,000. Plus. Yeah, I have no idea where those numbers come from. Okay, air explored. We found some loot. Excellent. Can I go visit more? Probably not. No. All right. Come home, get repaired, and we'll send you back out again. All right. So with those minor upgrades done, uh, I want to improve this. Now, uh, to do this, I need to have a couple of things. First off, I want to copy this, because this is essentially what I need to put back. We're going to put you over there for the moment. Uh, the other thing I need to do is I need to... Let's pause you guys for half a second. Uh, remove said box. I want to remove my iron belt uh, from about here... That's not the iron belt. Uh, from about there to about there. At the same time, this slag belt. Uh, the slag and the iron plate cross one another. And no matter what, they're going to have to cross one another. But I'd prefer it if they cross one another in a different way. Uh, that pretty much sums it up. Uh, I also now have copied you. I want to remove you. I also need to remove uh, this water pipe, which feeds in clean water to all of the steel smelting. Uh, so we're going to remove that as well. I need to remove that belt. And that should be it. All right. So first thing I want to do is obviously we're going to have a box. We're going to need a box to put all our iron in. Uh, we're going to toggle the direction on that belt. And we're going to get a flat conveyor level 2, which we're going to bring up to right here. Now, one thing I will have to do with this one is I will have to put in a balancer. Because I'm going to have two... Uh, iron smelty thingies uh i definitely want to prioritize uh, this one which is dedicated compared to the new one which is going to be mixed it's either going to do iron or steel we're going to be making it smart i know i'm doing more smart things now um a while ago a while ago a while ago i did a wonderful video i did one of my wonderful videos which i'll actually link up the top right hand corner where i went through how all the belts and pipes and 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 different things worked speed throughput also, the intricacies of belts, pipes, some advanced ways that you can use them to 
get some things done. Oh, that's that's what that area is. Uh, and all that sort of stuff. And one of the things I really ragged on, I really ragged on was the molten balancer. Hang on. I think I might have to translate rag. Uh, rag is an Australian saying. Um, it is an Australian saying that um, means like like putting down, putting down, um, at least in this context. It can also be used in other contexts, um, like when referring to... Um, 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 that 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 once a month event that happens where um I I believe in some parts of the world it's called Blood Week uh yeah 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 it, it, it's um 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 yes yes rags can also be that but in in this particular case I I referring to the molten balance and how bad it was because I don't see a point for it at all uh mainly because the molten channel the molten channel only moves 120 items per minute which means you just have no need to have a balancer um even in my case right now. I could build this without a balancer. And if I didn't have a balancer, I wouldn't use a balancer. I think the only reason the molten balancer happens to exist is purely because everything else has a balancer. At least that's my reasoning. If we had a molten channel like level two or something and we could get a higher throughput, I could maybe see a reason for it. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a molten channel, a molten balancer in here. The only reason I'm doing this is because I can very easily get a two to three Two, two to one split, two to one split, two to one split. Um, I can divide things nicely in thirds. If I couldn't, ship was fully repaired. If I couldn't do that, uh, what I would be doing is I would be using a whole bunch of connectors and doing some um, some weirdness, some weirdness. All right, with that done and out of the way and a little bit of uh, Australian tort to the community, or I'm going to take our iron smelty thingy majiggy bulb and I'm going to put this right here. Realistically, I could put it right here and do things with a whole bunch of connectors, but um. I'm going to put it one tile to the right. Yes. Uh, I'm also going to remove you because uh, I don't like the connector on the back that don't doing nothing. We're going to go from there to there. We're going to go from there to there. We're going to hook you up to here. And our belt uh, needs to come into here. Uh, yes. All right. So that will let this one start producing iron. Uh, before we get too far sidetracked. Again, can I grab slag? And I want to bring slag under here. Uh, that's not perfect. Do I have better options? Let's remove that back a little bit further. Uh, let's remove that entirely for the moment. And wait for that belt to disappear. Cool. Uh, can I try that again? Alright, so I want to come from... Hello? Yep. Uh, under here under here as close as possible there all right from there i need you to get to that's a way better option okay i like that i like that because one thing I, I i do want is we currently have a thoroughfare through here for trucks we can see by the amount of dirt here that this is used often by the truck so i don't really want to box them in too much in fact um this belt that's actually sticking out one tile for the sake of sticking out one tile uh, i'm pretty sure in fact i'm positive we're going to be cutting that back and we're going to be running it over the top of the other belt uh we found more dead pirates and 20 people crap with full on population. All right, go visit that one instead. Uh, all right, so with that out of the way, next thing I need to do is I need to copy this. Now, I can already tell you uh, that it ain't going to fit. Uh, even if I turn it sideways, almost fits. It sort of fits and sort of doesn't. All right, I need to compress this a little bit. So we're going to take the air separator. We're going to shove that over there. We're going to take this whole build and it means I can slide it up and over a couple of tiles and drop you right there. With that done, we're going to plug the gas pipe back in and also your output goes to there. Uh, okay, so that is our oxygen. Uh, that is our cooled casters uh, with their oxygen pipe, which actually goes into the oxygen furnace. The oxygen furnaces obviously need molten channel, uh, can I get that to come to there and into there? There's a couple of other things that we've overlooked and haven't been built yet. Uh, one is going... Oop, yep. Uh, yep. Uh, one is obviously... This. This exhaust pipe. Uh, the exhaust pipe traditionally plugs straight into the exhaust that also runs for the smelters. Uh, we found more loot. Uh, if we come home, we're going to have overpopulation. I don't think I can. I honestly don't think I care. All right. Uh, yes. Uh, so I need to deal with this exhaust pipe. The exhaust pipe, I'm hoping I should be able to grab from here. 
bring you up to height one, bring you over to here, then go to height two and take you straight into that one, which is the main exhaust pipe out to over here, which also we have the same problem of, I don't know whether I can actually process all the exhaust. So you have an overflow pipe. Uh, okay, we're gonna build that. All right, next problem I have overlooked so far is we need to get water into these guys. Now, traditionally, the water pipe came in right where the exhaust pipe now occupies, um, which means I need to rearrange things again. Also, I've left the water pipe over here, which also runs all the steel smelting. So we're not making any steel. So you're going to have to come in at height two, and I'm going to plan to run you right over the top, down to height one, and then plug into that pipe to at least get water hooked back up. Then if I go from there to there, from there to there, that should be everything running. Yes, I know I built those pipes backward, but that's perfectly fine. Uh, can I build that? And can I build that, please? I don't need the extra ones on the end, so we'll just leave them there for the moment. Uh, yeah, you have arrows, toggle direction, and toggle direction. I really wish that the game would just give you an alert if, you know, something for the first time fired up and didn't have inputs. Just just give me an alert. Okay, uh, can I remove both of those? Cool. That is that all nice and pretty. Next thing we're going to need is... I need to act oh, that would help. That would help a lot. Uh, you're going to prioritize in from the right-hand side. Uh... You only make 96, 96. It's only that you backed up. Okay. Uh, we need to take out iron plate. Uh, I need to get it over here, and I need to make sure that we use the least amount of room possible. So we're going to run it actually over the cooled caster uh, to there. Mm, let's go one more time. Bring you down. Run you beside that slag belt and plug you back in there. All right. That should be that problem solved as well. All right, last thing before I forget is I need to plug this back in. Hopefully, it's not going to cause an issue because it's been disconnected for a little while. Uh, and 76. Hopefully, we can catch up on that. Hopefully. All right, ship battle, ship battle, ship battle. All right, with that pro, well, that, that project, with that project done, we should be good on iron now. Because we're running through things through a molten balancer and it has two outputs plus one output, we should be splitting things into two thirds, one third, uh, which works fine for me right now. Because this is prioritized to use this iron first and this iron second, it should mean, should, uh, actually, you know what? I think I can do one better. I think I can do that. And have you prioritized out to that belt? And it should just mean that the second belt runs when it's backed up. Uh, is Shippy Shippy repaired? Is now. Go say hi to them. No? I'm trying to avoid running a belt. I'm trying to avoid upgrading to a Mark III belt. Hang on. What's a Mark III belt cost me in electricity? One kilowatt. Never mind. Okay. So, uh, what we want to do is we want to have this one running. This one running as the primary. This one's running as the secondary. Uh, if... Household goods. Uh, it's because it's empty. Okay, that's fine. It'll catch back up, hopefully. Uh, okay, we want to run this one as the primary. This one's the secondary. It hopefully 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 means that when it comes to our steel we just through the way the belts are naturally laid out and the way the game mechanics work hopefully and this is 100 percent my hope i actually have no idea hopefully we use the left hand smelters first and this becomes the lowest priority smelter i don't know if it'll work that way and the only way for me to know is have this fill back up which is going to take a minute but maybe it'll work that way so this becomes least priority. Therefore, if steel's full, then this can't process and therefore everything goes to iron and therefore this can fill up. By the same token, if this is full, that'll stop running and therefore all the molten iron goes into this steel build to prop up steel. That's my hope. That's my plan. Also, without actually using any prioritize priorities on the balancer. Yeah. Okay. All right. Next on our list of things to do is location explored. 
you are a dead pirate excellent can i go to there no can i go there no all right all the way home it turns out uh next thing on our list of things to do is well we put down all the solar cells last episode all the solar cells i could which means i don't want that anymore uh that can get removed on top of that i don't want that box and i don't want those machines correct correct uh i don't want any of those machines i also don't need that belt at the front anymore uh, also, this steel belt that comes in here, I don't need you anymore. This glass belt uh, actually goes to new places now, but uh, I don't need it right now. We're going to need to rebuild it in the future. Uh, that's glass. Okay, remove all of that. Yeah, a long time ago, a long time ago when we had a giant copper patch here, in fact, we had a giant copper ramp here, I did mention that we made PCBs. PCBs to go in electronics too. And my plan was to have, uh, same as we have for electronics one, we have two rows of machines facing one another. Also the same with mechanical parts, we have two rows of machines facing one another. My plan was to do the exact same with electronics too. My catch is, I didn't have room at the time. Now I now have room, which means we could do something about it. But at the same time, my electronics one is going to be an issue. It's going to be an issue. I don't have enough room to make electronics more, make more electronic one machines. In fact, if I really wanted to redo all of this, which I desperately don't, uh, I would end up putting mechanical parts here instead, and I put electronics up here to go into electronics, to probably go into PCBs next, then electronics two, then electronics three. Yes, uh, it seems like um, Captain Ministry, much like uh, other games that shall not be mentioned, which has a green circuit, a red circuit, and a blue circuit, turns out you need a lot of green circuits. I can't make any more green circuits. We are absolutely max maxed out. My only option from here is to go to robotic assemblers, which is something we are going to have to do in the future. Not right at the moment, but something we're going to have to do in the future. It's nice to actually have construction part ones again. All right. Uh, yeah, it's something we're, we're definitely going to have to do. Ship is fully repaired. Please go say hi to the back pirate and just roll through the front pirate which will give us access to another uranium mine excellent uh uh yes okay so what i want to do is i basically want to i want to double my pcbs if i double my pcbs i can run double the amount of electronics too i can't fix my electronics one problem but i can at least make sure with my electronics two i can stay on the electric assemblers rather than having to go up to up oh, we've got one here robotic assemblers which electronics 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 uh we'll run twice the speed and twice the speed and twice the speed um but obviously require teraflops which i don't have access to right at the moment so uh i want to do that modification now yeah to do that i'm obviously gonna have to break poly pipe uh poly pipe poly belt i'm gonna have to break electronics one i'm gonna have to break the glass plastic and copper pipes belt, pipes belts which also means i need to break them at this end uh and then what i'd have to do is i would have to remove the whole build between there and there shift shift you're not gonna work for me shift no okay control shift 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 if you hold down shift it, it it every single belt that you're touching gets removed if you hold down control it automatically does the whole lot with uni now obviously i would have if i if i was a smart person i would have uh you know copied done some stuff and that way we would have had a starting blueprint and um i did do that i i went and copied everything and we have a not really a starting blueprint a final blueprint um a final blueprint which i can drop literally straight back into place i just need to line up on the left hand side so i have room to run that belt into that belt into that storage so uh this is pcbs uh into electronics into box that is the whole build uh, as is one giant thing with 70 uni spent to build the damn thing uh, can i remove that can I remove all of that uh, oh, and build you and location explored, which is uranium mine. And then we're into combat for the next one. Zero work is available. Wow. That's perfect. Okay. Uh, good news is I'm going to end up pausing about six of them anyway, because I don't actually think I need as much production as I've built, but I will need more production shortly when we start getting into more uh, more of trade trade uh more microchips to make more electronics three because that's going to be happening in the well probably 
probably not actually next episode, but the very, very close future. Uh, can I... Trucks, I really wish you'd stop delivering things. Uh, height 2, plug that belt in there. Okay, so that's going to plug in our glass, our plastic, and our copper. Our co copper needs to plug back in there. Our glass... Glass. Uh, plastic needs to plug back in there to keep filling, feeding our microchip build. Uh, also, we need to bring our poly. Our poly, uh, our poly needs a cracker, and it's going to go into. Let's go this side. Uh, it's going to go into the belts at two different levels. Damn. Uh, actually, build to there. Okay. If I grab Mark One belt. From there into there. Great. And from there into. This is all done with Mark 1 belt because it doesn't need to actually go any faster because the production line doesn't need anything more than Mark 1 belt. Alright. We can build both of those two, which will plug poly in at that end. Uh, this end needs Electronics 1, which, same story, only needs at level 2. Level 1. Uh, only needs level 1 belt. Uh, oh, me into that belt and in to that belt. okay with those two done as well that should all start processing you're going to make three and we've got 10 machines that's 30 that's 60 if you're running flat out which means i don't have to upgrade any belts whatsoever uh glass uh no because that only uses 30 as well yeah, yeah, no, we're good. We're good. So that is the upgraded build. We can now have a crap ton of electronics too. We found more loot. Excellent. Can I stop there on the way home? No. All right, come home then. I need you to do at least one more repair. Uh, what can't you reach? PCBs. How many PCBs do we have? Because ideally I'd like to get rid of them. Uh, actually, uh, can I get a storage? Just a little one. Uh, PCB done, and you can just flood that belt. Okay. Um, I need to plug glass back in there, but we'll do that later. So, with PCB, PCB. Okay. Can I just uh, off, off, uh, copy, paste. Cool. All right. Uh, low supply of construction parts three. Yeah, we're oh, burning through them a little bit. All right, uh, okay, with that out of the way, uh, one thing I do want to do, we don't need that anymore. Uh, one thing I do want to do is I really want to, nope, nope, that's now been built. I would really like to build a microchip build. I'd really like to upgrade the microchip build and put in a whole bunch of microchips. I can't afford that currently. I just don't have the server capability. But I do have, if we go scroll over and look at our servers, uh, I, we have... 68 teraflops. If I just click this button a lot, 83. 83 seems to be where we've capped out at. Okay, so I have room for 83 teraflops. Do I have enough? Hey, I have enough cooling. Uh, so what I want to do is I want to take this and I want to double it. Uh, and I'm not even going to do it in a neat way. We are just going to uh, throw shit at the fan and get it to work. Uh, we're going to plug water in there, acid in there. Cool, it looks good to me. Plastic in shop in that one copper in that one and gold into that one yeah you guys you shouldn't be here uh we're also going to take the output man it's fine the output from that and plug that there which means i'm going to disconnect that uh and then take the output from this one and bring it in there okay it's a mess. It is a horrible mess, but it means our addition we've made is... Oh. Our addition is we need a filter as well. I need to filter this line as well. Yeah, I don't have a choice. I have to filter this one as well. Just in case we end up with a microchip coming out on this end. Come on. Build belt. What is your issue? Thank you. All right. Uh, I'm going to have to remove that. And quick remove. And... Uh, can I have a belt from there? Sure. Uh, you got your filter? Yeah, you do have your filter. All right, so rather than things having to go through here, then loop all the way around and go through these a second time, well, go through these a second time, they can now go through here, 
and then go up to here. So rather than going through all of uh, all of stage one, and then have to come through and go through all of stage two, and then all of stage three, they actually come through here, go through all of stage one, and go through stage two before they kicked back back out. Then they can go from stage two to stage well, all of stage two, uh, all of stage three rather, and all of stage four. And in theory, we'll get filtered out here and dumped in the box that way. Um, as we can see, that is a oh, you've had trucks deliver silicon wafers. Thanks, thanks, trucks. You're so awesome. Import on, export off. God. See, this is when you think you set up closed loops like this and then a truck comes in and just ruins your day by oh help oh help oh help uh, uh, like we already have a 3b going to 3c right now uh so it should double our output actually we just got some microchip sh shunted out then perfectly it should double our output uh it should wow we still have <sighs> okay i'm curious uh ship was fully repaired you visit there all right can i do this again like, I know it's, I know it looks hor horrible. I honestly don't care because all I'm trying to do is up our production temporarily before we can build something a little bit more, uh, a little bit more permanent, a little bit more elegant. Uh, yeah, that works. Well, one. Right. Okay. Plug that in there. Uh, plastic. You can go on that side. Uh, copper. Uh, you can go on that side. Uh, recover. And gold. Gold, 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 gold. Gold into there. Okay, so then we would take your output. Uh, okay, I need to remove that bit. And that bit. And actually just remove it there. You would plug in there. Your output would need. Can I can I copy you, please? Thank you. Uh, your output would need one of them, which we would have to put into that belt. Uh, that would have to go. Let's go this way, because it's got less spaghetti. I hope. Uh, and into there, and then I can hook actually these two back up. You go into there, and you go in. Oh, you all oh, we're up to 83 teraflops. I don't think I actually have enough to support an extra three. Uh, all right, let's go find out. Uh, it's 12. All right, who's running? You are running. You are running. You are running. You're running. You're running. You're running. Oh, it's probably science. Hang on. I'm not running the extra laps, which means I don't need you or you running, which is going to save me, hopefully, a couple of teraflops, which means hopefully I can do this. Hopefully. Hopefully. Looks good so far. It's not running, but it looks good. Uh, low supply of electronics too. Ooh, ooh. Why? Uh, you're running, you're running, you're running. I, I really wish the devs... I'm still hoping the devs fix the lag for opening different assemblers. Uh, okay, it looks to be good. Uh, has Shippy Shippy made it there? Okay, Shippy Shippy has made it here. This is an important one. Uh, we're going to send Shippy Shippy to here. Yep, good luck, Ship. Uh, okay, uh, Electronics 2. We'll, we'll just unpause a row of machines. Like, technically, we have more production than we had previously, but that's the problem. I'm, I'm, I'm borderline on production. There's a lot of things I've been borderline on, and we're just trying to improve them bit by bit. Uh, that belt's 88% full, which is good. House of Goods. Oh, the box is not full. That's fine. Uh, construction parts 2. It's just because we're converting so many into the next level. And I just built a crap ton of belts. Electronics we're going to get to. Housing we're going to get to in a minute. Uh, okay. You are running. Are running. And are running. Okay. Yep. yep. Everything seems to be running. We have 84 out of 84 teraflops. Which means everything's running at peak capacity. All my PCBs, I'm assuming, got dumped in there. They did. I have a crap ton of plastic. I got some flour. I got some poly. Uh, you know what? Do -do -do. Uh, hang on, does Poly go in this type of container? 
It does. Uh, can I... Belt. Just there. Uh, what was the other thing we had? Plastic. Uh, plastic, 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 plastic. Uh, actually, can I do a more permanent solution for plastic? Sort of. Can I cut you? And... Can I put you here, actually? Uh, plastic. We don't have a lot of hit points. We have even less hit points now. Uh, but we've been through the first pirates. We've been through the quartz mine. What do we get here? Uh, we got more loot. Uh, okay. If I put you there, can I just grab a flat belt? Not even a fast one. And run out of you into that box. Yes, I can. All right. That's what we're going to do. That way, plastic has a way to get back into circulation. Uh, all right, so that's running, that's running, that's running. I am pretty happy so far. I just want to find out what happens with the combat. Uh, yes. And we are still bringing iron directly to there because I didn't leave room to plug in at the rear, which is unfortunate. Uh, diggy team is still digging. Oh, we got, we, we got healed a little bit. And you just got demolished with another 18 people. Oh, there's more pirates out there. I didn't know there's more pirates. Okay. Uh, all right. In that... No, I need to wait for the ship to get home before we upgrade. Before we unpause housing. All right. So, we've upgraded our electronics. We should have plenty, plenty of electronics now. Uh, ideally, I'd like to move the box up to, like, center it a little bit. But I don't see that happening. Uh, we have upgraded our microchip production. At the same time, we're going to keep buying them because we can... Yes, we healed a bit more again. I like this. Free repairs. And oil rig. Can I go further? No. It's worth a shot. Worth a shot. Uh, we're going to come home with 18 people, 43 microchips, uh, and another 41 electronics 3. We are converting microchips into electronics 3 as fast as possible. We have one machine making servers. We came out with 80. Well, we've got 84 teraflops and zero servers in stock. Uh, that one had servers in it. Uh, import on. Uh, yeah. We're going to unpause you. I'm going to unpause you. I'm going to unpause you. We're just going to keep buying uh, microchips to get things processed as fast as possible. Half health. Half health. That's not too bad. Uh, and actually, the repair is not that expensive either. But with the ship home, I am now going to obviously... Uh, find a housing block and unpause it so we can get rid of the uh, over underpopulation thing at the same time it is a sunny day which is a perfect example we are running this nuclear power plant is producing all power here and half power here which means i'm definitely at the point where i can unpause you guys uh set you to a reactor level of two uh, and unpause the next part of the desal plant uh, and get that built and have these guys start producing power rather than these guys so we get extra water for extra farms because if I have extra people, well, um, we're going to have some extra farms. Um, I don't know which rows to pick. Probably this row. Yeah, you're off or pre-fertilized. Yep. We'll upgrade you and it's how many workers? Eight. Okay, 32 more, more workers uh, applied. All right, with all that said, this is where we're going to end today's episode. Um, I think I'm pretty happy with today's episode. We got a good amount done. Uh, next episode, we need to start going down the research. Uh, Arc Furnace 2, I'd love to get, but smelting, smelting, smelting. Uh, Arc Furnace 2 requires 1.4 megawatts a piece, which is a lot of power. Also requires six teraflops. So before we get that, we need to get microchip production running. Oh, running a little bit better. We have something that works and we've expanded a little bit. I would like to expand this at least probably one more time. So I have a full row of four uh, before we build a more permanent one over here and then actually start actually processing electronics properly. Uh, uh, but which means next episode, we're probably going to do medical supplies. Probably going to do medical supplies uh, just for the extra uni and health bonus. Not that we really need it, but you know, it never hurts. Anyway, with all that said, I'm going to call this episode here. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Do hope you've enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the very next episode. All right, bye.